Oh, hey y'all. How's it going? Fatty here, and thanks for joining me on the channel that has more poles than a strip club. And today, I'm bringing you the easiest way to defeat the Lava Golem on Ragnarok and get the very best loot and blueprints for your tribe. And I asked you guys on the uh, poll on my channel whether you guys wanted to see this or port part 7 to my PvP series. You guys crushed it, and you guys really voted for this one. I'm really excited to bring it to you, so let's not waste any more time and let's just jump straight into the video. So for this video, I'm going to kind of give you guys two different strategies. I'm going to give you the one where you can kind of walk in on a fairy and kind of clear some of the way and just fight your way through it. It's a little more time consuming. It takes a little bit longer, but it's a very valuable way, especially if you don't feel confident going on foot. The second method I'm going to show you is the way that you, the second method I'm going to show you is a really easy one where you can just kind of grapple and parachute all the way through. If you have a couple med brews and you have a little bit of weight on your character, that way you can just kind of get through and have lots of parachutes and grapples so you're not wasting any time. You can really get through this really fast and get all the loot and you don't really need that much. I would always carry on you at all times like a compound bow or at least a fabricated sniper rifle, something like that. And I like to have a sword or a pike and a shield. Sometimes the um, onyx get really close up on you and you can't really defend yourself very well especially with the bow and it's hard to hit him with a fabricated sniper so I find if you have also have a shield and a sword you can kind of just fight your way through so it works out really well now starting off you're gonna be want to go to Ragnarok and you can either spawn in the jungle or you can spawn near Viking Bay now what I like to do is everyone always gets confused where the two entrances are for this and there are two of them so from Viking Bay if you're heading west towards Blue Ob you're gonna see this kind of like pillar thing kind of sitting there in the sand and it's square and it's just kind of standing up and it's one of those like uh, baked in parts of the map right it's a structure but it's not like a player built structure and from there you're going to see kind of a waterfall when you look inland a little bit and from there you just climb up like you just follow the right you just go and follow the waterfall up and you're going to find the two entrances really close together the first one which is not the one i would recommend unless you're going to go on the theory on foot route is going to be located 18.2 28.2 now this one is going to take you on the lower path so as you see as we go through this video it's really clear to see there's like a lower path where most of the dinos are and then there's like this upper path which has a couple booby traps right at the start and then it's just a little bit harder to kind of navigate because it's a little bit more narrow and there's a lot of jump paths and you can't really bring a dinosaur with you on this upper path so that just gives you like the two different options we're going to go on the footpath a little bit first just since it's a little bit more tedious and then we'll just show you the brief like fly through it with your grapple pack and then kind of talk about the different strategies to actually defeat it um this one is going to just really require besides just the stuff to get to the lava golem is a velo so if you don't have a velonosaur just go get one breed one up this one is an imprinted one to me it's not the greatest i think it has like 3k health it's got like uh, 5k stamina i think is what it was it's got a decent amount of stamina because i just didn't want to have to be like waiting for stamina a lot when i'm fighting the golem and i believe it only had like 800 melee which is not that much you could easily get that on official servers or without having many breeding mutations or anything like that I think on this one, it was only like a fifth generation has like two uh, melee mutations on the, the one that we just tamed in the wild. So it's not like the greatest velo in the world. So it's very easy for anybody else to do. So yeah, let me just uh, get into the path that we need to take to get into where the lava golem is on foot. Two quick things before we get into to the rest of the video. I just want to let you guys know this month of December, I am doing a daily video. So every single day of December, you will be seeing a video all the way up until a Christmas special. So definitely go check that out. Also, I do lots and lots of polls on my channel. So definitely make sure you subscribe and check that out. And if not, definitely go check out our Discord. We're there a lot as well, too. And I will just jump into the rest. So in efforts to make this video not too terribly long, um, the spot where I cryopod the fairy, we were going on foot. That was the... I, I started in on the second entrance, the one that you can just use as the grapple parachute entrance. And when you fall down this first part, it leads to the entrance of the next part, the other entrance, the on foot part. So where I, I cryopod the fairy is you don't want to uncryo your theory before you get to this part because you can't walk the theory under it and that's why I end up crying it and then just kind of using the grapple anyways so once you get to that kind of like bridged part or like that slanted baked in part just get underneath it then uncryo and you'll be fine those first couple dinos are really easy to kill if you have two people one of you guys uncryo the theory you know take them out and then get to the other side somebody else uncryo a theory and then you know just uncryo when you get the next chance it's not really that big of a deal but from there, you just follow the path and they both lead to the same part, which is like the staircase. So from here, I'm gonna go back to the original entrance and show you kind of the grapple route and how to do that really fast. So 
that last part I showed you is definitely one that you can do with the theory on foot until you get to that crouch part, then you got a cryo, and then the rest of the part is all done the same. So when you go back to the beginning part, I'll show you where I went down on the theory, and then I'll just grapple up. This can really be done in multiple different ways, just depending on your skill level, comfort level of grappling and all that. But you can easily, there's a lot of different ledges, you can kind of grapple up and just, you know, shoot them, compound bow, whatever, all the mobs, until they're down, and then just land on that platform and move on to the next and the next. But really, it's not that difficult if you just kind of grapple and cut, grapple and cut, if you can carry that enough grapples to be able to do that. Um, you can just kind of skate over the top of them and it's real easy. With this path, you just kind of, once you get going, you just go in a straight line until you get to this corner and there's usually a drop there. You can also see the hanging wrecks by the spider webs. That's a good indication to know it. Once you do that, you just kind of take a right and go in a straight line again and then you'll get to another little crouch area and there, you can easily crouch there and kill any of the mobs that are in that area. It's really easy to do it. You can remain really safe. So that's a really good checkpoint to know if you're kind of getting swarmed by the mobs and you're feeling a little overwhelmed. Once you get on the other side of there, that is the staircase where we kind of left off that last little part. So it's really easy to kind of navigate from there. Now the staircase, once you get there, is really easy. It's just a straight path almost the rest of the way until you're going to get to the artifact. So here's a jump cave. Uh, again, I like to grapple and what I do is I just kind of grapple until I can get to really high in the cave and then I just parachute and then I just kind of grapple and parachute, grapple and parachute. Then you're going to get to this like little temple entrance and from there, there are several different loot crates that could spawn around. Um, they can be in the water around this little temple as well as like the really easy obvious ones. I usually only ever see four spawned up at a time so if you get four of them the chances are you don't really need to keep like looking too hard to find them. Sometimes there are more but usually it seems to be about four in that room. Then once you get to the, the temple room, on the back side from where you entered, you'll see this kind of like lava waterfall. And again, you'll see these like tiki kind of faces like baked into the, into like the structures there. So from there, you can just follow this little path and then you'll get to where the artifact is. Now definitely be careful before you get too close to lava and you're trying to grapple to get to the, the entrance to where the actual lava golem is. It's really, really easily, er, easy, easily, it's really easy to get knocked into the lava by mobs. Here, I was just trying to get a good angle and look at things and a spider came up and just bit me once and pushed me in and I just insta-died. And that is the worst. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Now, when I usually do this, I leave some kind of flyer or some kind of box or something hidden outside with another kit. Um, luckily I did on this one because I was able just to kind of run back in super quick. That was the, uh, the first clip of the run I saw was actually me coming back. And I was able to grapple my body, get my kit back, and then just finish it off. And it was really nice. I didn't have to stress about it too much. So once you get into the room where you actually see the artifact, when you're looking at the artifact from the staircase, it is just going to be off to your right and there's going to be some crystals. So make sure you have any kind of something just to break the crystals. I think you're going to have to break through at least like eight of the actual uh, crystal stacks there. Four on one side and once you get in it's another four there so just smack those and then you are actually inside and that's where the fun begins so you finally made it to the lava golem nice job kid now the most important thing to do is finding one of two ledges that you can kind of prop up onto to uncry your velanosaur and just really start to hit this guy hard now they're going to be all on the opposite side of where you first spawn into so i'll kind of let this play out so you can kind of see where i go up to and it's going to be on these top ledges and it's just really you can see they're kind of flat they're a little tucked in and they're easy to find easy to get up to now sometimes you'll get up there and it won't really the lava golem will appear you'll kind of see like the almost like the you'll see the tech generator kind of blue sparkles that's where he's going to spawn in from and he always spawns in kind of just right in front of the the entrance to this room now when he if he doesn't spawn up right away, what you gotta do is just go over there, then he'll aggro, and then you can run and get to there. Now, he does hit pretty hard, so make sure you, you know, you're not, uh, dilly-dallying, right? Get on the ground, get as close as you can, second you see him, start grappling, get to that safe spot. Then once you do, then all you have to do is really hop on your Volana Star and start nailing him. Now, if he hits you, it does hurt, so make sure you have some med brews. Um, also, you know, just make sure you have a dinosaur that has a little bit of health. Like I said, these have about like, or my Volanosaur had like 3.5k HP, and it was just a primitive saddle, so nothing special. So you guys should be able to do this pretty easy, and then once you do, the Lava Golem will have some really good loot on himself, and there will also be... Uh, four, again, red uh, loot drops that spawn in here. Now to get to the Lava Golem, just make sure you grapple straight above it as like most, most parallel as you can, and then just slowly, slowly, slowly reel down so you can access that inventory, pull everything out, 
and then you should just be golden. Now make sure also you don't have a ton of weight. I didn't do this on this recording, but one thing I've done in the past is I pulled everything out and I got over encumbered and grapples do not like being over encumbered. So as soon as I was over encumbered, then I just dropped down. And they also have it so you can't really grapple and move uh, bodies that are over encumbered anymore as well. So if that happens, then you're just kind of SOL. So before you go get that, just make sure you don't have too much weight on you or just make sure as you're pulling stuff off, don't make yourself too heavy. Just, just be aware of that. Then at that point, all you gotta do is just tra traverse your way back. Sometimes a red loot crates on the outside can spawn back in. Not always, so you always just double check and then you guys, you're good to go. Uh, always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you guys episode 7 of the Let's Play series PvP and some kind of news I got. I don't know if it's good news or bad news yet because we just got really well established. That is the cluster that we are playing on. The Elite Arc server is actually going to be wiping fresh on December 4th, which is um today is uh november 30th if just depending when you guys are watching this so be looking out for that probably the next couple episodes are gonna be really heavy raid episodes just kind of letting it purge out just using everything we can because kind of did build up a lot for not really being able to use it because i didn't know how how long it was to wipe and these seasons usually last about three or four months so good news though is after this one does um kind of finish out as soon as this, this server is back up and running and ready to go i will be making sure to do a lot of early game let's plays and uh just stuff like that to really get a new series rocking and rolling since it'll be fresh so that way you guys can really see a full season and that'll be kind of cool i'm excited to do that especially with these daily uploads so i hope you guys are excited for that as well if you guys want to now i'll probably be putting out a poll later on to figure out what guys maps you guys want me to play on or maybe a spot that you guys want me to try to hold up like i don't know if you guys are really into some of those mega tribe spots like ice cave on the island or something like that or pearl cave on the center so if you guys really want to see something like that just you know please leave a comment down below i really like to interact with you guys i like to put polls up to see like let you guys interact and kind of help choose what's going on i like to name dinosaurs after you guys especially the people who are commenting constantly so yeah just be active be have fun uh, check out my discord and i will see you guys in the next episode peace